All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game between WFZ versus Law Lyette. This game taking place here on Twisted Meadows. Here we have, well, who is this? This is Law Lyette spawning as the Red Night Elf player over here at what I'll call the 5 o'clock position. Meanwhile, over here, we have WFZ spawning as the Blue Undead. If you see pains, or if you see me grimacing right now, um, yeah, I just played a game of football with my friends the other day and landed really poorly on some muscles of mine. I am no longer as young as I used to be, still recovering, my legs are cramping, and well, um, I actually accidentally tore off like all the skin on my right knee, um, or left knee just now, and it, it absolutely hurts. Uh, I say that with a smile on my face because if I wasn't laughing, I'd be crying. And, well, um, it's often really strange so when you see a full man, so a full-grown man cry. So, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Anyways, Ancient of War currently coming into play. Gonna go ahead and train up an archer. Meanwhile, we are going into a Demon Hunter versus a Death Knight matchup. No big surprises there whatsoever yeah i'm touching my touching my left knees checking if it's okay as we are going to see some ghouls now making their rounds out to do a bit of scouting go crota going through the pain to deliver us some quality warcraft i hope it is quality um i am streaming on facebook as well for all of you guys who are watching on facebook thank you very much if you want to well join in on the twitch chat you obviously need to come over to twitch and if you want to watch some more videos or, or help me out, definitely check out my YouTube channel. As we see, well, there was purposely pulling of units all the way back here. Now Ghoul going to join in on the fight as the Archer purposely trying to, well, dodge the Ghoul's damage. We are going to be looking at a little bit of repairing. There's that second Wisp off over there to get the Forest Troll Shadow Priest out onto the field. And Death Knight, Demon Hunter, going to go ahead and continue to engage as well as that Ghoul is taking a fair bit of damage and should have to be careful. The Death Knight, as you can tell on the minimap, coming in around the corner there. Ghoul being forced to retreat back even further as it looks as though the Rock Golem will get taken down. There it goes. Potion of Greater Healing now picked up. Double Wisp healing all the way. What does it mean? Well, it means the Death Knight with Unholy Aura is not going to be able to Death Coil anything as the Forest Troll Shadow Priest tries to run and hide. Hiding on the inside. Hiding between a tree and some other trees. That Forest Troll Shadow Priest very well protected right there as you can see a little bit of damage adding up still forest troll shadow priest may perhaps need to be backing off is it going to be able to get back the other way it looks like it is doing exactly that as the death knight still not on the board with any experience yet forest troll shadow priest down to 67 hit points archer gets in the harm's way to protect that troll meanwhile back at the undead base we are taking the tier two and once more we have a good number of ghouls out the demon hunter running or doing laps with the death knight the death knight however more than fast enough to keep ahead of a demon hunter as that un death knight has unholy aura and able to move around the map very quickly demon hunter now continuing the chase back once more let's take a look ancient of war going to be coming online here as it may switch back and try to do a little bit of well, well a little bit more creeping with the help of the archers and that forest troll shadow priest however an army of ghouls now ready to make its way in and across let's take a look death knight now coming back over and it, we may see a lot of units getting taken down here little does he know that an army of ghouls is coming over as well forest troll shadow priest gets in some quick abolish magic ghouls now making their way over as well wfz is trying to bring in the damage for all of you guys wondering this was taken from a ladder match archer one two three shot there it goes death knight now trying to make its way back over perhaps going to be able to take down another forest troll shadow priest another mana burn onto that death knight as the death knight trying to just round around that corner and perhaps deny the demon hunter demon hunter however oh maybe able to get some damage onto that death knight death knight now in serious trouble down to 37 hit points as we're taking a look at the ghouls trying to engage here low hit point ghoul trying to back off here what is going on units every which way trying to slip around death knight getting into harm's way at 29 hit points down to 24 as the demon hunter is still chasing after a bit of units all right 
ghouls now making their way back off to the north here let's take a look a little bit of target practice there death knight needs to get back on to blight and heal up and heal up quickly meanwhile the demon hunter is trying to chase after that death knight really not knowing where anything is at ghoul is now looking to retreat back once more death knight now regenerating those hit points but where does it have where can it really run off to the death knight just hiding deep inside his own base to try and stay alive already back up to 112 hit points but doesn't really want to venture forth i uh, wish they would add new female hero models to the old warcraft that would be cool um yeah they probably will not be adding female models to the the original warcraft i mean the female models were more for um well more for use in um because of world of warcraft and the changes to that and well reforged is gonna have all of those female models there all right let's uh, wow did not think i could uh yeah i, I yeah uh, like i have like an inch uh, uh like two square inches of skin missing on my left knee and and it's just like a good peel right there just crusted over and and, and like it uh, it hurts a lot. All right, Death Knight now coming over. I'm sorry for anyone. Too, maybe maybe I should title this game too much information. Anyways, let's go ahead. Ogre Magi going to get taken down. Let's take a look. Easy shot off right there. Death Knight picking up a ring of protection plus four. Going to be able to stay alive for quite a bit while longer. Meanwhile, Panda is out by Lolliette. Drunken Haze, the first ability, what that does, it, it actually adds in missing. And by doing exactly that, it actually decreases all of the additional damage that would be done by these units. And because they are constantly missing their target, the Panda is able to clear out a much more difficult creep camp than normal. But we may be looking at some healing coming onto that Panda here shortly. He gets up to level 2, and now in comes that Forest Troll Shadow Priest to heal. Demon Hunter still coming over, doing a lot of harassment. Death Knight sitting at level 2. Units are just trying to hide every which way deep inside the base, as I believe we are already teching the Tier 3, just now getting the Slaughterhouse, and now adding in that Lich. Panda is going to be comfortably sitting at level 2 here as it finishes off that creep camp. Alright, just walk it off. Just a flesh wound. No big deal. Um, it's not like I took an arrow to the knee. Panda now going after the 5-3-3 creep camp. Going to be able to clear this creep camp up pretty quickly. That Forest Troll Shadow Priest has a lot of work to do. Meanwhile, the Demon Hunter doing a lot of work just trying to deny his opponent any sort of tech. Lone Demon Hunter causing a lot of problems. The Death Knight doesn't have that, man, um, well, th that much mana, so can't Death Coil. And that's partially because of that Demon Hunter's mana burn. But now that the Lich is out onto the field, the Lich should be able to easily Frost Nova that Demon Hunter and get him into a little bit of well harm's way so to speak by slowing down that demon hunter and dealing damage that demon hunter even with a potion of greater healing can find himself in a precarious spot as you can take a look that negative four armor really reducing the amount of damage done dry it's not coming across death coil frost nova already there shade now shifting back over here as we're going to be looking at the shade trying to keep up with that demon hunter back across here death knight and with an obsidian statue and this is really what wfz is looking for and undead is pretty much frozen until crypt fiends and obsidian statues are now out onto the field and there's a sudden power level and jump in their army's power um it doesn't seem to matter how much you uh, how many crypt fiends and obsidian statues you get adding more just strength into your army that much better the crypt fiends because of their slower at slower attack higher damage per attack attack speed and um, it is better for um kiting units especially when you are able to land a solid frost nova on a lone unit first wfz is sitting at 41 supply compared to 48 panda sitting at level three here bears are now back out onto the field and Lolliette, very heavy on the tech right now, as these bears are only have adept training. Now, in comes a mana burn onto that Lich. Lich was, able, I believe, able to get off one Frost Nova, and that was it. Meanwhile, Death Knight now going to come across here. There is another mana burn onto the Lich there, as we may see some more damage coming across there. There's a Death Coil, level 2 Death Coil, quickly saving that Lich from certain death as that rock golem will get taken down giving level two to the lich picking up some useful items extra hit points scroll of the beast all of those are going to be extremely helpful meanwhile death knight with vampiric aura as well 
able to clear out this creep camp over here in the center. Dryads trying to make their way over. Has to be careful though. There are crypt fiends out ready to land in some attacks as well. And as we all know, the piercing damage on those dryads really um, well, it takes a large chunk of hit points away from them. All right, Death Knight looking to transition over. Force Troll, Warlord with True Shot Aura quickly going to get, well, sniped down here. Let's take a look at that Vampiric Aura. Dryad's going to perhaps try and poke apart this uh, Crypt Fiend. Crypt Fiend actually could just turn around and, and attack those Dryads. As long as it's within range of the Obsidian Statue, it would actually win out on those fights rather easily. Um, let's take a look back across over here. Forest Troll, High Priest, both of them are going to get finished off. Lich gets a Tome of Intelligence plus two as we are looking at the units now make their way over. And you know, I haven't even played Reforged since the release of Night Elf. I'll have to take a look and take a look at all the new, all the new Dryads here. As we're going to take a look, oh, starting to creep, a bit dangerous. He saw that the Demon Hunter and Dryads were here. Frostworms are also in on this fight as well. And the, well, the Frostworms do not scare the Dryads, but the Demon Hunter, well, doesn't want to see or get hit by that Frostworm at all. Lich also sitting at level 3 right now as the Obsidian Statue is dancing around. During this time, though, the Panda, um, or the Pandarin, or Pandarian, is getting to level 4. Has Rune Bracers and also has a Pendant of Mana. A 565 mana Panda. Very, very powerful. And this has actually taken the place of the level 3 Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, all, once he gets to level 3, it was able to harass similar to how a Blade Master um, of the Orc army harasses. Now that the harassment is done, the Demon Hunter is going to join back in on the fight as we're looking at, well, a rejuvenation on a very low hit point bear. We are looking at a Tree of Life by Lalayette for an expansion. There are no trees here, um, no matter what the minimap says, as Frostworms and Ghouls are going to move out and be ready to engage. All right. Let's take a look after all of these units here. Panda here, ready to go. Force Troll, Shadow Priest, um, pa uh, Bears, Demon Hunter. Uh, WFZ 16 at, sitting at 69 over 70 compared to 49 over 80. Lalayette hoping to set up this expansion and then win economically. However, WFZ is here to already ruin the day able to slow things down and this well this tree of life will get taken down in no time flat goblin tinker nearby perhaps clockwork goblins could be used as well as it is going to be a one base versus one base race again as that tree of life is lost we'll see how all wait if i turn off the fog of war and then turn it back on do they show back up yes they do all right now where are all of these units going to be trying to travel to next? Let's take a look back off to the north here. Shade holding true there. A tree of life being established over on the opposite end of the map. A, a bit of an interesting strategy. That is a ninja expansion by Law Liet. And, well, it could end up becoming a very dangerous expansion if it's not scouted out. Let's take a look. Quick Frost Nova Death Coil onto one Hippogriff Rider, or one Hippogriff there as all the units back off. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, however, makes short work of the Ghoul pressure as the Panda is already at level 5. Frostworms could, could perhaps try and go after some units there. Frostworms able to get some easy damage once more onto that Demon Hunter, but the Demon Hunter will be able to back off. Hey, 42... Um, how are you doing? We're going to take a look. The Tinker may try to get to level 2 here. Death Knight is at 4. Lich is at 3. Obsidian Statue is going to be coming back across over as the flying units are going to try and clear out this creep camp before the Dryads get into position. All right, timing is going to be key here. Frostworms are going to make short work out of all of the magic or the heavy armor units. However, these Forest Troll Trappers in the back are going to be a little bit more difficult. All right, there's Breath of Fire. I didn't see a Drunken Haze, though, as we could see, well, a death of a bear very quickly. Lich to Goblin Tinker, Swirl of Town Portal units now trying to head back every which way. Are they going to survive? Goblin Tinker almost gets taken down, but able to back up again. All right, healing underway. 69 supply compared to 59. This expansion was canceled, and instead, a new expansion was built here. Meanwhile, we are looking at an expansion coming in from WFZ. 
Um, he canceled the ninja. WFZ has an acolyte scout on patrol. Yeah, he did. Um, he were on patrol, but that tree of life is there. We'll see if this is going to be able to come. Meanwhile, this down over here does not have one. I'm sorry, keeping track of the mini map and which buildings are real and which ones are fake. Um, well, that's a little bit difficult to spot as well. 69 supply compared to 59. Hippogriff's going to go and engage. Death Knight is here, ready to go. Staff of Preservation doesn't need to be used on the bear as the bear is not taken down. There goes one Hippogriff. Let's take a look. There goes one Drew to the Claw taken down in a matter of seconds. We could be looking at another one. There it goes as well as these units now being forced to back off. Another bear could get taken down. There it goes. 61 compared to 49. Frostworms and the Destroyer trying to eat through all of these other units, but all of the anti-air units are left. Dryads and archers are pretty much all that is left from the night elf army forest Roll berserker as well all of the high priority targets those bears are already gone and now what's going to end up happening as well this army is not good against an army of dryads dryads piercing damage that is magic immune demon hunter with orba venom able to attack the air one frostworm i believe was lost in the engagement you can see only one left right now and it doesn't look like a new one will be added back off to the north here acolyte was trying to summon up a building not going to be able to do that oh there one more spear in the back there it goes it does get taken down the well the living acolyte now gets to serve the undead while being undead as we're looking and transitioning back here death knight with sobi mask uh, well perhaps it will be able to get in more death coil still sitting at level four lich is also sitting at level four now and the goblin tinker finally is at two uh goblin tinker with the ring of regeneration instead of the death knight that's a little bit curious to me as the death knight seems to be the one that is always lower on hit points than at least the goblin tinker is 48 supply compared to 70 expansion a new one is trying to be rebuilt there nothing happening here and this gold mine is nearly entangled panda getting ready to go staff of preservation demon hunter uh, running around off to the north here are we going to catch some units are we going to perhaps even try and in, and haunt this gold mine we haven't seen anything as of yet as well the demon hunter now making their way back G uh, goblin tinker is coming back across here does have a scroll of regeneration to try and counteract that breath of fire keeping all of his units alive a little while longer that will bode well for him meanwhile though we're looking at wfz he is starting to get that crypt fiend count up as he knows his opponent is very heavy on dryads crypt fiends a natural answer to those to those dryads as the obsidian statues now make their way over let's see what item was dropped behind a ring of protection plus three lich all here ready to go death knight now trying to lead the charge all the way back home as we are looking at this army of dryad trying to take down buildings as we all know it is difficult to take down buildings here as acolytes are also coming across to do a bit of repairing all right in comes the engagement staff of preservation saves a forest troll berserker as the frost rooms are now looking to back up are we going to perhaps see some frost nova death coil breath of fire as the panda gonna force to use a scroll of town portal in order to get away units are now looking to back away again and these frost worms well could stay purposely close to the obsidian statues or at least stay over blight to gain a little bit of health yeah yeah some new overlays in order to be able to keep track of heroes their abilities their levels some observer tools would be great i think some of those are well in in discussion um i'm sure casters have already requested that if they haven't well i am a caster requesting that as we're looking at well the frost rooms now making their position over here to the 10 o'clock spot we have mined a little bit of gold but not enough to really pay for this expansion as of yet once the wisp uh, once the tree of life and the wisp are gone well that expansion will not have paid for itself we are perhaps looking at a scroll of town portal to head back the other way as well let's take a look at this goblin uh, workshop also going or the factory is going to uh, continue to train up more units and try to take down some of those as well as we see the scroll of town portal to head back are the units a little bit too far some of those units are too far three units left behind as 
we're looking at well units trying to engage here crypt fiends going after the dryads abominations here or was that purposeful leaving behind those units knowing that they're they are just going to be massive targets for the other undead um, or, well they are just going to be massive targets these units deal magic damage only and by purpose i don't know if that was on purpose or not but by moving those units to chase after the wisps off to the north they were not engaged in the scroll of town portal when because they were not engaged in the scroll of town portal they were not easily focused fired by those army of dryads the crypt fiends were then able to pretty much do what do what they were supposed to do and designed to do take down unarmored units these dryads who have two zero upgrades I laugh out loud on purpose uh, if it was on purpose that was a brilliant it looked normally you want to bring your entire army back to the fight that may have been a strategic calculation to save that unit there all right this expansion is up and running again by la Lyette. la Lyette, however will be forced to try and save this or bring units over to save it here in just a moment it does not look good as another expansion could get taken down goblin tinker already sitting at level three here the clockwork if, if the factory factory was built here the clockwork goblins would actually have less distance to walk but i guess in this position it is also a much more defensive um in location as the dryads and other units coming in from the other side would actually be well the door would be facing in the direction that you wanted all right we're taking a look at a couple of wisp there that uh, we're trying to find our way back around let's take a look death coil frost nova trying to finish off some units dryads a little bit of no man's land in the middle exactly what the doctor ordered there is a handful of bears out there but the bears should just get instantaneously focused down one staff of preservation there there goes another bear instead a new pocket factory is down but the death knight also taking a lot of damage too death knight needs to be very careful it needs to pull back within range of the obsidian statues obsidian statues are dancing around as the forest troll berserker chasing too and La Layette is just in a bit of trouble. The Dryads are, well, trying to race around every which way. Demon Hunter and the Panda going after the Pocket Factory instead of the other units. As we're looking at the Dryads, well, the Dryads may end up surviving because of a handful of engagements. The Bear, who was staffed of preservation, brought back into the fight on accident. Panda, I believe, was staff of preservation saved as we're looking at the Death Knight still sitting at level 5 at, well, sub 100 hit points. All right, units trying to head back every which way. Demon Hunter could try and land a big mana burn here. Dryads are in position. Crypt Fiends going to go back around. There's a mana burn. Death Knight once again being brought back over. Staff of Preservation saves. Panda could come back over. Breath of Fire as a, well, a Lich could get taken down here. Lich trying to engage here. Low hit point Crypt Fiend. As we're looking at the, well, the air units trying to go after the panda again. Panda getting a little bit slowed. Dryad still engaging. The pocket factory still cranking out more units as the Dryad's not quite sure who to be attacking. As the Goblin Tinker now chasing back the other way. Death Knight and Lich both in the red zone, but somehow still able to survive. All right. No expansion here. One expansion here. WFZ has a slight advantage, but it's only a slight advantage here as we are looking at him only mining away with three acolytes now still need to get number four and five on the line dub uh, la Layette, however sitting at 33 over 70 supply while wfz is sitting at 53 over 60. a large supply advantage as this is now well i would say la uh, uh, wfz's game to lose only a tragic mistake or miscalculation would cause uh, um, him to lose here as a drunken haze breath of fire onto the lich lich comes across with the death coil orb of venom trying to finish off some of those other units as well goblin tinkers continuing the chase death knight thank you for the subscription as we're looking at the demon hunter now chasing after units again lich continuing to dance around is going to be able to get away a, a round of volleys from the dryad breath of fire again as we're looking at some of those units that's still engaging demon hunter very slow because of the frost worms additional slow damage mana burn onto the lich lich down to 59 hit points but still ends up surviving panda drunken haze breath of fire i believe as we are still fighting our way staff of preservation saves the other unit there dryad ends up surviving and the panda now running away 
demon hunter very low on hit points somehow still for still surviving as the well this panda is running back every which way the death knight needs to chase after it because it has the unholy aura and that's the only way that these remaining units will continue to catch up and close in on that distance Frostworm right there. If the Frostworm can land one slow attack, that would pretty much be the end of it. But a Staff of Preservation from the Demon Hunter able to close out that gap. Tree of Eternity has shifted over to the bottom left. Death Knight making sure no expansion here is going to see that there is nothing there. Frostworm and Destroyer are going to make short work of that Wisp as they continue to look for more places to clear out. Panda and Demon Hunter both extremely low on hit points. Moonstone was used to get well, more moon juice into those moon wells. Not that much gold is available. What you see is what you get. Well, nope. There is a little bit of mining underway. This gold mine not even bothered to be mined anymore. No, as the main necropolis was already taken out, perhaps one acolyte should be transitioned over there as well. It is one base to one base. La la yet with the economic advantage since he isn't paying taxes. WFZ, however, with a large army advantage as the shade now transitions over. All right, shade sees that this tree of eternity is here has the seven armor and um, gonna be a little bit more difficult to take out abominations are there as well and this is yeah this is what not well making their way back across here looking at their preservation timing is amazing i usually send them back at 20 percent. they wait for two percent yeah being able to get every ounce of effectiveness out of their hit points, absolutely key. Panda and Demon Hunter now making its way over here. Acolyte could end up getting taken down. One Nerubian Tower, a Spirit Tower trying to be rebuilt. That could end up being canceled here. Mana Burn onto the Death Knight. More fighting underway. Spirit or that Ziggurat going to get canceled there. Acolyte now need to back off. Demon Hunter could end up getting Staff of Preservation. Saved at 42 hit points. As this Panda is now in some serious trouble of his own. Are we perhaps going to see that unit perhaps try and Drunken A's Breath of Fire? Multiple Acolytes going to get lost right there. Only one Acolyte is alive. Panda lived up to what he was supposed to do. Took out four of the five mining Acolytes as now he has a small window of opportunity to rebuild his army and catch back up. Back across here, Dryad's now shifting back off to the north. 38 supply compared to 57. There are still two Crypt Fiends out onto the field, and those Crypt Fiends are going to make those Dryads absolutely scared as they are retreating back once more. Up to six Dryads now. Panda, Rejuvenation, trying to heal back up. There is, well, a Breath of Fire quick to try and take down that Shade. There it goes. It was taken down after the reveal. As the Abomination, Clockwork Factory, all these units are going to be ready to engage again. All right, trying to take down those units. Clockwork Goblins could try and dive on in. Demon Hunter is right there, only sitting at level 4. Doesn't get any experience from these Clockwork Goblins, even though they are the ones that cause damage. Uh, and, well, they are the ones that cause damage. Coming back across here, let's take a look. This, well, Pocket Factory could get taken down. There it goes as well as the Panda now sits at level 6. Earth, Storm, and Fire is now available for Lala of Eternity. Could have, gr uh, well, very, very big impact. Panda, is it going to try to Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, all these units? And then, there it goes. Is it going to Earth, Storm, and Fire? That is the question. There it goes. Earth, Storm, and Fire going to engage. And are they going to be able to do anything? There's a Cyclone onto the Death Knight. And that Death Knight is just up in the air, unable to do very much. It lands back down. Is it going to get Cycloned again? Still fighting its way through. 47 compared to 57 supply. Demon Hunter now being forced to back up. Cyclone again on the Death Knight. Demon Hunter down to 102 hit points, trying to get away. Down to 41. Mana burn, a last dying effort, as there was no Staff of Preservation as well. It is Earthstorm and Fire. Earthstorm and Fire pretty much breaking all of that right there. Oh, a two hit point. Um, Frostworm able to escape. Abominations, however, are getting taken down. We are seeing a Destroyer also going to get lost here. Let's take a look at this. Is the Earthstorm and Fire going to come to an end? There goes the Destroyer. Cryptfiend trying to survive here. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, and Staff of Teleportation. Is it going to try to get away? It is going to try and get away, and does so. Down to 183 hit points. Going to drop some units, use that Moonstone, perhaps heal up from these two particular Moon Wells. Demon Hunter needs to get resurrected, as this Tree of Eternity is in a bit of trouble. All right, Dryads could try and poke down 
some of those units here low hit point units right there meanwhile is there i thought there was a frostworm was it oh frostworm healed back up to 656 hit points death knight well, well right off over there perhaps get able to get the level three death coil off Dryads making their way back over. There goes one Dryad. Another Dryad now taken down. Lich, if it gets up to level 6, that's pretty much going to be over. Moonwells will end up falling very quickly as we could be looking at a Drunken Haze Breath of Fire. Let's take a look at that. Drunken Haze Breath of Fire and now going after all of those units here. Lich could be in trouble. Panna now needs to back off. Dryad's going to continue to poke. There goes the well, there goes the Goblin Tinker. Lich could be next. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability as the was used before the Breath of Fire. Death Coil Frost Nova level 6 on the Lich. And that may be the game unless the Demon Hunter can swing things as well. That is, in fact, the game WFZ wins over Law Lyette. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, let me show the scores. All right, there's that. All right.